welcome back let's discuss about storage classes in c so a storage class defines the storage basically where a particular variable is stored is it stored in a heap in a stack or in a register so it also defines the scope of the variable which is the visibility is the variable visible only within the function or is the variable visible across multiple functions third it defines what is the default initialization value for a variable that is whether it is zero or is it garbage or any other value so that's what a storage class defines so there are four major types of uh, storage classes one is auto which is the default initialization or default storage type second is register third is extern fourth is static so these are the four major storage classes there is another one called global even though it's not a keyword a variable is declared as global if it is defined anywhere outside of the main program so we will discuss that as well by default every data type is auto or it's also called as local so let's first look at auto variable so we have declared a variable auto space in space abc so this is the storage class auto is the default type so even if you ignore this auto by default it is auto variables right so int a comma b equal to 10 right by default uh, auto variable does not get initialized so it will hold garbage value so let's run this program so after the statement is executed so if you look at it b is initialized to 10 but the value of a is garbage so auto variables do not have um, any default initialization they'll carry garbage value so they have to be initialized like this so a equal to 20 only then they'll hold value so auto variables are visible only within the function where it is declared that is a and b will be visible only within this bracket to this bracket if you try to access it here a and b will not be visible so in this case x and y are there so if you look at it, the scope of x and y and total as well total is also an auto variable int x int y both are auto variables so in this particular case all these three variables are visible only within this function sum they will not be visible in main so in total and whenever the close bracket is seen then all these variables will be lost right so it gets deleted so these if you see are stored in the stack so this is the stack of main this is the stack of sum so now that's it that stack gets deleted if the sum is called again a new stack is created for that and the sum gets used so this is auto variable now let's try to access this variable right uh, a and b in the sum function let's see what happens So if you look at this, this ideally would return a compilation error. So here what has happened is the variable A is visible only within this main. It is not visible here. So local variables or auto variables as they are called are visible only within the functions where they are declared. So it's only within this open bracket and close bracket. So let's look at the second type register variables. So register variables, right? Whenever a variable is declared as register, it tries to store that in CPU register. Instead of storing in the stack, it will try to store it in the CPU register. So this will be much faster than storing it in the stack. I mean, from a normal user standpoint for simple programs, you will not even see any difference, right? So now let's see here. So here we don't see register, right? So stack and heap is there. You will notice that it doesn't get stored in the stack. So let's do this. Yes, you don't see it. A is 20. You don't see that because it is stored in the register. Now, when you do a printf, yes, x and y are actually the stack variables. It's not declared as register. So in total gets computed, return the total. And then this stack gets deleted now. Now it's in the main program. The sum gets printed as 30, right? So the register int A and B, this is how it works. So the quick summary of register is, Storage is com compiler tries to allocate in the register. It's an attempt made. If it is not able to allocate in the register, it will store it in the stack. Right? That's how register variables work. 
the scope of the re um, register variable is same as auto that is it is visible only within the function the default initialization is also very similar to uh, auto variables that is it carries junk value when it starts unless it is initialized it carries a junk value so for all practical purposes register variable is same as local variable or auto variable only differences it tries to store it in a register so next we will move to static variable in this program we have not defined static variables we have just called a function called count times it doesn't take any argument it doesn't actually return anything right so we are calling count times so count times has a variable called int count of zero it is just a auto variable so it is initialized to zero now count is incremented by one we are printing it and we are seeing that some function count called right so it is called once second time it's being called third time it's being called right so every time when count is called you see that it prints the value function and it's called one right with the value one now let's change this variable to static so here i am changing it to static let's see what is the difference so the same program we are now running it let's see how it works here so now i am calling count right so it stores in a spe special memory right so static is allocated in a different memory it is not stored in stack or heap it's in a different memory so now count is incremented by one and you're printing it yes it's printing as one you're returning to the main function right now again you are calling count right so second time when it is called the value that it was initialized last time it remembers that that memory remains it does not get deleted across function calls so usually the stack is getting deleted every time here it does not get deleted so now if you look at it that value is 2 so function sum called second time return now again i am calling the third time it remembers that the last time this function was called it was 2 now it becomes 3 if you print it it prints 3 so this is what a static variable so static variables are allocated in a special segment of the memory where and it does not get deleted till the end of the program and all static variables by default are initialized to zero so it is even this is optional so even if you don't give this equal to zero it will get initialized to zero the importance about static variable is it remembers the value when it was called last time so that is count times you call it the first time it increments by one and then it prints the count second time when it's called it does not execute line 3 it directly comes to this line so it changes the value to 2 and it prints 2 third time when it's called it does not execute line 3 it directly comes to line 4 so count 2 gets incremented to count 3 and it prints so this is called static variables so static variables help count the number of times a function is called um, so it's very very useful from that standpoint so one thing about static variables is the variable is visible only within this function so if i am trying to access static count is four here it will not be able to access that variable so you will see that count is undeclared right so the variable is visible only within the function it is not visible outside the function right so that's one more important feature so it is going to be only visible within the function it remembers the value what it was last time so now let's look at global variables in global variables there is no keyword called global right it's just that the variable is declared outside of any of the functions so it is declared outside of this it is declared outside of this it's actually declared here right in count is equal to zero so it's declared outside of all the functions now how it works is the biggest advantage of global is if you change it in any one function it is visible in another function so in this case count is equal to 4 right count is here it's initially 0 once the main starts it's initialized to 4 right and after that this count times function is called where count is incremented to 5 and second time count time is called it is incremented to 6 third time count times is called it's incremented to 7 and when you print it it will print 7 right so here if you look at it the value is accessed across all the functions it can be modified across all the functions so that's the advantage of global so if you look at it it's saying global variable here so count is 5 
again it's being called count as 6 again it's being called count as 7 and it's printing 7 so global variables do not get deleted when the function ends it is throughout for the life of the program that's the advantage of global variables so the last one that we'll see is extern um, extern is used in multi-file programming that is if you have a main.c as a file and you have another file right called file.c if you declare one variable in the second file and try to access it in the main file you need extern for the scope of this discussion we will ignore extern right extern is rarely used by beginners so let's ignore extern for now let's remember we have um, auto or local we have static we have register and we have a global variable so these are the four major types that you will be using in your programs so in summary auto variables are local variables which are known only to the function uh, the declaration is you will use the auto keyword it is accessible within the function or block the primary memory where it is stored is in the ram within the stack the default value of auto variable is garbage right so it is the default storage class static variables right these are again local variables which are visible only within the function the keyword static is used for that and the accessibility is within the block where it is declared and it is um, stored in the primary memory right so there is a special area where it is stored and the lifetime is for the entire program the default value of the variable when it is not initialized it gets initialized to zero so extern variables extern variables are global variables which is function which is known to all the files so when you are doing multi-file programming that is you have two different files and the variable has to be visible across both the files extern is used default value again is zero and it is like a global variable which is accessible across register register variables are stored within the registers and it is all from all other perspectives it is very similar to a local or auto variable that's the summary of storage class